So the question that usually comes at that point is what I can do with by using all this data. So I just want to take uh, 10 minutes to describe something, a research that I'm doing with colleagues that is entirely based on open citation data available in Crossref. So our main goal is try to understand if there is an automatic strategy for defining what humanities as a research area is, considering that the major database with citation data actually includes humanities within a bigger area that is the social science and you are saying humanity domain that is a bigger uh, discipline. And for doing that, we are using some additional tools that are available online, such as ARI Plus, which is a kind of service that made available the list of some, not all, journals that belong to the humanities and social science domain. And we basically took the disciplines defined by these ARI Plus things and try to involve experts to classify each discipline there as humanities and or social science. And then, and then we look at how many of these journals were present in three different databases containing citations. Crossref, that is the one that I've talked uh, so far, Scopus, and Web of Science. And we saw that actually the Crossref database has the wider coverage of these arts and humanity journals than the other two that are commercial services. And this one is just a picture that allows to understand in Crossref what is the distribution of the publication in these journals described by RI+. Uh, and I have just a zoom of the very beginning of it. So these, is, these are basically all the journals in RI that are included in Crossref according to the number of articles that are described in Crossref. So by using an algorithm that is called Leiden algorithm developed uh, in Leiden and Leiden University, uh, we were able to identify basically the main five macro areas of research, so uh, physical science and engineering, biomedical and health sciences, social science and humanities, mathematics and computer science, and life and earth sciences. The blue one, the blue bubbles on the right, define the big area of humanities and social science. So starting from here, we wanted to develop a kind of methodology for trying to find out what are the humanities within this big bubble of publications. To do that, we reused the uh, Leiden algorithm, okay, and we try to cluster the various publication by means of the Leiden algorithm and try to see how many publications have been published in ARI plus journals that are typical, uh, that contains humanities journal as well. And then we try to visualize the result to see what happened. So we find out basically the yellow one, the yellow bubble here are cluster of publication in which at least the 20% of the articles there, at least the 20% have been published in these ARI plus journals, and you see that the main pub humanities publication quite grouped in that very right part of the diagram, okay, the yellow one. But if you see, there are other clusters like here, 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 that are still yellow, but they do not belong to the main area of arts and humanities and social science that was before highlighted in this part are more multidisciplinary things. And this graph, this diagram show the distribution of the cluster. So each bubble that you have seen in the previous uh, picture, according to the percentage of humanities publication according to RI plus uh, uh, journals that are included in each cluster. And if you see here, I've zoomed a bit on some areas, and here there is uh, that specific cluster, and these are the main journals in that cluster, that actually contains more than 40% of humanities publication, even if this cluster belongs to the computer science macro area. 
So this is a clear example of multidisciplinary cluster between humanities and computer science. So just for wrap up this specific research, these are the preliminary results that we have obtained. First of all, we have seen that the majority of clusters that uh, show the highest percentage of publication to journals that are included in Arrive Plus journals are actually included in the main field, the big macro area of social sciences and humanities. But still there are exceptions. As you have seen, there are some clusters that are not belonging to social sciences and humanities as a macro area, but still contains enough humanities publication and according to the labels of the journals that are included in this cluster it seems that these labels are somehow compliant with the social humanity social science and humanities fields even if this cluster belongs to a very different macro area and the important point of this exercise is that all the technology, the Leiden algorithm that I presented you, that is used for defining this cluster, use citations for defining the links and how the cluster are created. Mm -hmm. And the citation that we have used were those one available in Crossref, mm -hmm. the open one. Mm -hmm. So basically, this research has an effective cost of zero euros because all the citation in Crossref were open, available for every, every, anyone. Doing the same research by using some commercial indexes like Web of Science or Scopus is practically impractical because of the price of these services, first of all, but then because for doing that you should have the full dump of the database. And this is not something that Scopus and Web of Science will allow you to have, usually.